Hi, my name is Matt Malanga, CMO here at NewsCred. Today I'm here with Susan Campbell, Marketing Group Manager at Panasonic. Hey, Matt. Hey, Susan. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, meet with me today. Um, I hope you, your loved ones, are staying safe. I know times are challenging. Yes, they um, are. So as you're aware, NewsCred recently partnered with Circuit Research. Um, we used we commissioned that firm to help us understand you know, the big challenges marketers were facing as a result of COVID-19, how their priorities were shifting, where their budgets were going. And I'd love to hear from you firsthand, like some of the challenges you and your team are facing. Um, so let me, let me start with my first question. What are the biggest challenges you and your team are facing as a result of the pandemic? Well, a uh, couple of challenges. Clearly, um, remote working is the first one of them that we kind of had to tackle and figuring out how <laughs> how to use um, you know remote platforms so that we could have video conferencing and uh, team meetings remotely. So we kind of had to all get through that uh, adjustment. But um, I would say the biggest challenge for us is. Uh, the impacts to the business, um, the increased need for communication. So since our sales team can't be out selling, we need to be creating more communication for them with their customers. So if anything, I would say our biggest challenge is the increase in volume of work <laughs> that, um, that we've had come our way. Uh, the fact that uh, the team that I lead is very much focused on the digital aspects of marketing that um, really all kind of fell squarely into our lap. So um, working on the email channels, on the web channels, social media, uh, trying to get uh, sanitizing and disinfecting communications messages out through all those channels. Um, that was really kind of our biggest challenge uh, as we started off. And now it still remains to be um, just kind of a volume of requests we support um, five different business units who all have their own independent sales teams. And so everybody wants to make sure that they're communicating with their customers. A lot of our customer base is essential workers. <laughs> so, um, so that just further makes things um, more urgent. Yes, I, I noticed in the survey, and this probably is not surprising to you or anyone else, um, that events are pretty much sidelined for, during COVID. So yeah. Does that mean more, even more work for your team? Yeah. <laughs> so while we would normally support an event um, from the perspective of doing email invitations and um, registration pages on websites and that kind of thing, um, we had not historically run a lot of webinars. And so we've had to very quickly, um, working with our trade show team, evaluate a virtual uh, platform so that we could have webinar, host webinars with video content and Q&A availability and all that kind of stuff on uh, reliable, stable connections. So um, getting that up to speed and then setting up an internal process because now everybody wants a webinar. <laughs> How do you go about requesting it and allocating the resources and prioritizing each of the different topics based on, you know, the um, priorities of the business at that given point in time. So we've been working through that and um, we're actually going to be launching our, or hosting, I should say, our first global webinar next week. Wow. I'm sure that alone is a lot of work. <laughs> a little bit of stress along the way as well. <laughs> I totally get it. Um, are you finding that the use of you know, NewsCred CMP, our, our content marketing platform, is helping with some of this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the fact that um, prior to you know everybody working from home, uh, we already worked with a very geography dispute distributed team. So um, we have partners in Salt Lake City. MRM McCann is our agency out there. Uh, Race Point Global is our PR agency. They're based in Boston. My team based in Newark, New Jersey. So we already kind of covered some territory and needed to a place to collaborate. So um, thankfully, um, you know, working in the CMP, we've got all of our uh, 
social and blog posting and everything campaigns there so we all know where to go to figure out what needs to happen and where things are in the process so that has helped us tremendously so as these priorities shift and you're getting more work around new channels or channels that at least you're expanding are you still continuing to use the cmp in that capacity or are you finding other ways to get all that work done no, we very much, um, we work all of our uh, social and blog um, posting is all done through the CMP and we rely on that for um, the, the, the ability to see across the team and even cross teams because I have uh, two separate teams that use it. So uh, if anybody's looking to find out what, um, what the status is of a pro pro program or where we are in terms of uh, views or analytics for something that we ran, we have that centralized information. That's awesome. So improved visibility, improved control, views in the calendars, what's happening when. Yeah, and the, just the communication factor alone too, right? So anytime there's something that's posted that you need to review or approve, you get the notification. You, you know, you're not having to slog through all the email back and forth. Do I have the latest version? Has so-and-so seen this? It's all right there, right? You get the email notification, you click on it, you're in the CMP, you see what needs to be done, you see who touched it last, you touch it, you leave your comments, and you see where it's going next. So that sort of <laughs> takes a lot of the guesswork out of the process. Well, Susan, I have one final question for you. Sure. Um, so clearly COVID has changed priorities, changed where we're making investments. Um, what have you learned about your team and your work processes um, as a result of COVID-19? Well, I, I am very, very lucky. I work for a great company. Um, Panasonic is very supportive of trying new things and innovating and um, so we've got that going for us. But even within that, the, the team that um, I lead is so connected and we've um, we have not let the sort of uh, barrier from getting together in a physical sense keep us from being tightly knit group and a, um, a strongly unified team uh, we have our weekly team meetings on Fridays um, we use Microsoft Teams so it's always on video and uh, we're very creative so we have a theme um, we've had backwards day and uh, favorite oh, sports cute. team day and just kind of keeping it light to to get a little bit of that camaraderie um, to keep us all you know motivated and connected and I think really that you know that feeling that you're still connected to the team you're still part of the team is is important and uh, then we just have kind of work group meetings also um, that uh, I have my web squad <laughs> um, that's on Tuesdays and I have a um, guy in Colorado and then two two guys who are located in New Jersey and we get on um, just almost like a hangout a virtual video hangout where we just talk through some of the different issues that we've got that um, maybe somebody solved for another product line and we um, work on things across the board and then sometimes we just chit chat for a minute. So um, I've learned they're resilient, very uh, creative bunch of people who um, I'm really looking forward to seeing again live, but um, we still stay pretty close. I'm, I may have to pick your brain a little bit, but I love some of those ideas like where everyone wears their clothes backwards oh, on yeah. video call. Maybe we'll have like pajamas, like a <laughs> video conference. Yeah, I'm uh, very excited. We're going to have, even though the Kentucky Derby had to get postponed, we are going to have Derby Day, the, the Friday, next Friday that is. So I'll get oh, my hat ready. and <laughs> We'll even fit on the screen. I imagine it might be, you know, you might have to flip the screen view to get like the right angle on this. Yeah, yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, Susan, I, I appreciate your time today. And... Again, thank you. Oh, Take sure care. thing, Matt. Nice to talk to you. Be safe. Thanks. You too.